Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're at a crossroads right now in America, and we have to move this country forward. This election is not just about playing defense, it's also about playing offense. There will always be people, many of goodwill, who do not share my view on the issue of choice. On this fundamental issue, I will not yield, and Planned Parenthood will not yield. When there are real wars being fought abroad, they would have us fight culture wars here at home. But I am absolutely convinced that culture wars are just so 90s. <laughs> Their days are growing dark. It is time to turn the page. We want a new day here in America. We're tired about arguing about the same old stuff. As you were talking about earlier, the recent Bush Supreme Court's decisions really took away uh, critically important decisions from women and put them in the hands of politicians. And as a result of this, we're expecting and have already seen so much anti-choice legislation at the state level. Um, what would you do at the federal level, not only to ensure access to abortion, but to make sure that the uh, judicial nominees that you will inevitably be able to pick are true to the core tenets of Roe v. Wade? Well, the first thing I'd do as president is, is sign the Freedom of Choice Act. Uh, that's the first thing that I'd do. Then I'm absolutely convinced we're not just going to win an election, but more importantly, we're going to transform this nation. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you.